along every point of this pipeline, there is opportunity to introduce bias. While this is a good thing, we've got medical data to do research. It's also a deeply, deeply biased way of uh, using data. Machines are the best to call out human bias because there's so much human bias in our data. You know, one of the, the, the key questions that is frequently asked about AI models is the model safety and reliability. Um, so the question from the audience was uh, sharing uh, HAI's effort on you know model safety and reliability with industry applications. Obviously, it isn't just health. It, there's also you know classically people think about this in you know the criminal justice system or the financial system. You know uh, you know racial and 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 other forms of social equity. Um, but but what what is HAI doing um, and catalyzing with industry on model safety and reliability? That's a great question. Thank you for asking. And, and Reid, I know you care a lot about this. We, we talk a lot about this as well. So, so the word safety is actually uh, loaded with different uh, dimensions. Let me try to unpack that a little bit. You mentioned and the, the question mentioned fairness, which was, you know, the, the, the flip side of that is bias is one big chunk of safety. I'll address a little bit. Uh, uh, there is also other aspect, including the robustness of the, the, the technology. How do we quantifiably and reliably understand the robustness? There is also the, the trustworthiness, which uh, has a lot to do with transparency and explainability of the, the technology. And then there is also the whole practice of how ethics can be um, you know, incorporated into the design and development. So, so there are several buckets. Uh, let's just start with the fairness and uh, uh, bias. Um, uh, you know, AI as a technology is a system. If you, the, 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 the pipeline of the system, starting from defining the problem, to curating the data, to designing the algorithm, to, to developing the product, to, to delivering the service, Along every point of this pipeline, there is opportunity to introduce bias. At the end of the day, a lot of bias, or maybe all of the bias, is rooted in human bias. Our history, our human psychology is, is you know, where the biases start. So I think um, at HAI, you can see our researchers are working on every point of this pipeline bias. We've got researchers, myself included, working on the upstream data bias, you know, how we um, become vigilant and mitigate the bias that's introduced into the data um, and, and how we try to fix that. Um, classic example, we've got researchers showing that in America, um, um, most of medical AI research data come from three coastal states, Massachusetts, New York, and, and California. Imagine, while this is a good thing we've got medical data to do research, it's also a deeply, deeply biased way of, um, of uh, using data. So we need to be vigilant and mitigate that. Then we get into algorithm that uh, we cannot throw our hands in the air and say, well, the bias come from data, where can I do? For example, historically, let's say, you know, you're, you're linked to LinkedIn, you're looking at job applicants, um, and uh, there are just a lot fewer women in, uh, let's say, computer science discipline historically. But if we throw our hands in the air and say, well, we'll just use whatever historical data to train whatever algorithm, it'll fundamentally be unfair to women of today and women of tomorrow. So our algorithm, you know, whether it's through a different way of looking at objective functions and, and other, you know, um, more uh, technical uh, methods, we need to mitigate that. And then it comes down to, um, um, uh, comes down to decision making inference. There is another whole, you know, uh, bucket of technology that our researchers are exploring. I just use this to to illustrate. Even on the bias side, we have multiple kind of research. Um, uh, one other thing that I'm actually really excited. We call out machine bias. In fact, machines are the best to call out human bias. 
because there's so much human bias in our data. My favorite, for example, was a few years ago, face recognition algorithm called out Hollywood's bias on using male actors a lot more. They have a lot more screen time and talking time than female actors. These kind of mass data analysis and, and, and machines calling out bias is really important. And we continue to do that. And then there is explainability and robustness research. Uh, we have uh, uh, researchers in medical school, in computer science department, in gender studies uh, 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 programs. They are working closely together in, in, trying to, um, uh, in trying to look at these robustness and explainability um, um, technologies. And, and of course, um, there's the whole design process. And Reed, I know you are one of the staunchest uh, supporters that we have, Stanford HAI, have led to an innovative um, research proposal review process called the Ethics and Society Review. That is a step up from the classic uh, human subject review in universities called IRB. But in this, uh, what we call ESR process, HAI funded uh, research needed, needs to, every one of them go through an ethics and society review before we, um, we provide funding to support this research. And the philosophy behind this is to uh, bake ethics into the design of the of the um, research program, not as an um, afterthought for mitigation. So that was a long answer to this very profound question of, you know, how HAI, our research and our own practice is looking, addressing this issue of safety and trustworthiness.